I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. It looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. Not typical. The coward's not here. But I learned tracking from the best. Him. I'm gonna go over this room with a fine-tooth comb. Gotta scan this room every way I can. It's all for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. And how best set it up. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt. Oh no, it's only the prelude. I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. 
All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you could eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and distrust. But he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable he would have to be removed. <laughs> Fight ghosts! You grasp at shadows! Huh. It'll be hard to spot them in those streets, but I have to try. You've been a poor sport! You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid! Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? <laughs> it was a test! To see how strong you could be! could stomach this spilling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. Come get me, boy. Oh, why can't they all... I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack that killer instinct, me. fool. I'm right here. Always one step behind. Not true. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Time, pal. This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser. Come get me, boy. He's in the trees. Find him before he springs a trap. There is no escape. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborn is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes. It's true. I met with Fisk in his building where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. 
He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. <laughs> Sending task force guys out of town? I heard it's about that stolen Oscorp tech. Some kind of armor they're trying to get back. So? We need backup now. But they don't care if working stiffs like us get killed. This is my chance to find out what the task force's real priorities are. When crime's up, it's my fault. And when it's down, everyone forgets I exist.
The happy faces of residents no longer afraid to walk the streets prove once again why he's called your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man.